Oh, there's only one thing missing. My co-host, Bobby Riggs. Has anybody seen my co-host, Bobby Riggs? The male, ch where is he? Where is Bobby Riggs? Uh, oh, the, the warrior, the warrior cats in the roller game all-stars are over there warming up. Has anyone over there seen Bobby Riggs? Anyone? Where is he? Oh, I see him. Wait a minute. There he is. Ma making another one of his casual entries. Bobby Riggs. How long has it been, honestly, how long has it been since you've been on skates? I'd say about 50 years, only a half a century. Oh, man. I was some skater, though, when I was six and seven years old. Now, those girls are some skaters, aren't hey, they? Hey, I'm going to have a lot of fun with these girls today. Let's find out more about what they're doing. I don't know, do you understand anything about roller, roller derbies well, or I roller games? I saw a couple of them. Yeah, I know it's a rough sport. Well, let me bring in, we have a veteran announcer here, roller games announcer. His name is Ed Darian, okay? Where is Ed? Now, what, what is what is the object of the game? I'm not, I'm not up on, on roller roller derbies and roller games. Well, the object is to score points and for the opposing team to block out the lead jammers. Now, I said roller roller games and roller derby. Is there a difference? What is the difference? Well, there is no more roller derby. It's basically roller games right now. Now, how do you call a jam? Can you can you give us an idea about that? Sure, girls. Judy, referee Horace Daniels, Judy Arnold is Judy out there. Judy Arnold yes. out there? Yes, uh, yes oh, she is. Judy Arnold is out there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Judy, come on over, will you? I want to talk with you. Here comes the famous Judy Arnold, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hear it for her. Hi, Judy. How are you? Fine. We were going to show you what a jam is if you were okay, in. Okay, I would just like wanted to, to say hello and let everybody I'm see I'm pleased you. to be here. It's You're a pretty lady. Girl. Thank you. Thank okay, you go ahead. Show us what a jam is, Judy. Okay, I just... okay, Mike, Bobby, the jam now, the girls getting the pack intact, referee Horace Daniels from the infield. Now the jammers are the skaters wearing the helmets. They are the only skaters eligible to score. The first whistle, the signal of the first whistle, will mean for the jammers to move to the front of the pack. The second whistle, the jam gets underway. They must clear the front of the pack. The two jammers for the Warrior Cats Judy Arnold, 67, Congleton, number 60, Juanita Ricardo of the Liberators going down, Carolyn Moreland now, up front for the New York Chiefs, and hey, Lynn Congleton on a fine block. This is Judy Sowinski and Judy Arnold right now. Look out, Arnold getting railed. Arnold recovers. Now Judy Sowinski becomes the lead jammer. And Judy Arnold is right behind. There's about 30 seconds remaining in this jam. Roberta Mitchell blocking out now. Roberta Mitchell of the Warrior Cats blocking out Sawinski. Judy Arnold from the outside. Now there's 20 seconds remaining in the jam. Judy Arnold getting the whip, and what do you know? Judy Arnold breaking the door wide open, and Judy trying to go all the way. Arnold now being blocked out by Wallen. Arnold now getting by Sandy Dunn of the New York Chiefs. Judy Arnold placing her hands on her hips. Calling the playoff, a total of six million cat points. Now, this sport has been called a, a cross between the circus, a circus, uh, hockey, and lady wrestling. Uh, do you see it that way, Judy? It's been called a cross between what I said, the oh, circus, okay. hockey, and lady wrestling. Now, how do you see it? I see it as a great sport that I love very much, and that I work very hard at, and that all the people who work in it work very hard. We do, we're out here to do a job. I'm tired. <laughs> we're out here to do a job, entertain people, and we work our darndest at it. And I pray that we, we do entertain the people. Oh, sure you do. And they love you. Do you hear that? <laughs> Judy, do you, do, you have to, do you have to like violence and, and uh, to participate in this game? No, you don't have to like violence. Number one, I don't like violence. <laughs> Some of these people that watch it may not believe that. <laughs> but off of the track, I truly don't like violence. I don't feel it gets you anywhere, but I'm sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> but out there on the track, when you get shoved the wrong way, it might be the wrong day, you're in a bad mood. Yeah. 
Now, you because <laughs> because you do this and you do it regularly, and you just came out here and started, do you have to warm up for something like this so that Mike, you're not winded? Yes, Mike, it does help a lot. Like we just came out here and went into that, and uh, we don't skate outdoors very often either. So oh, I see. the wind and the heat is a little, little different. It, it's not oh. a very feminine sport, is it? No, I wouldn't say that it is. But uh, someone said sometimes we don't look. We kind of look mannish and tough out there on the track. I said, you know, there's not much we can do about it because we can't wear dresses because we might skin our knees more than we do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's hard. I've tried to have my hair done all the time, but when it gets pulled, you know, it, it gets a little rough. And out there, I agree, we don't look very womanish, but off the track. Yeah, I met you, I met, I met you this morning, and uh, you look very nice. Thank you, Mike. Very nice. That's why I'm standing so close. You, uh, have you ever been seriously injured? Yes, Mike, I was a year ago. I broke my ankle in seven places. But in uh, 13... One would have been enough, wouldn't it? Yes, but in 13 years of skating, I thank the Lord that's all that I broke. And I healed very quickly, and I'm back to normal, and I'm back in the action, and I'm enjoying it every minute of it. Now, roller games are, are famous for what, what, what are called uh, match races. Can you explain what that is? Yes, that's usually a match that goes on between two people that don't like each other, or else they're trying to prove who is the better skater. And uh, they happen quite often, and I, since I'm here today and he's here, I notice he's having a lot of trouble with women. I'd like to race him in a match race. Bobby Riggs, you want to take her? Well, wait a minute, Judy. Do you know about the fact that this guy is a hustler? I mean, he doesn't do anything for, for peanuts. You know, he's got to have well, some action. Well, we got a little popcorn in the back. We'll give him some of that. How about that, Bobby? Are you... I think it's a great idea. I'm, I'm up for it. I tell you this, Mike. There's no way I'm gonna, gonna play Judy a mass race unless I get a lot of help. Like when I play you golf, you got to give me three and three. And when I play Judy now in this game, she's gonna have to give me uh, two strong girls. One on each other. I'll, I'll, I'll do you a favor. Instead of five laps like we usually do, I'll give you three laps. Three laps. Three yeah. laps. You got we got it. You, you got, got two helpers. Three. Okay. Oh. You're in trouble, Judy. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's three against one all of a sudden. Would you call the race for it? Sure. Well, this is a, I believe, three lap match race, Judy. Three laps. Now this is three laps. Anything, everything goes. I just like to wish Sandy and Judy good luck. We're gonna need it. Now, Bobby Riggs has help out there. Number five, Judy Sawinski of the Thunderbirds. And I believe number 46, Sandy Dunn of the New York Chiefs. Now, Judy's got her job cut out for her. These are two strong girls, exceptionally strong. And it's three laps, anything, everything goes. And it means just that. All right, referee Horace Daniels there now. Bobby Riggs looks, looks like his own handicap, doesn't he? <laughs> Bobby Riggs wearing number 68. The sound of the whistle, the race will start. Wait a minute, Bobby signal, what is he signaling? Bobby, what did you just signal? Two times around, is that what he said? I believe three, three times around. <laughs> Giuliano down, being blocked out by Sawinski. Bobby Riggs has help, Giuliano trying to get by now. Sandy Dunn is blocking out Giuliano and Bobby Riggs. He's having a tough time now, Arnold hitting the rail. All right, now this will conclude one lap. Giuliano now trying to get by. Watch out. Giuliano down again. Being blocked out by Sawinski now. Two laps remain. Two laps remaining in this match race. Sandy Dunn. Get that male chauvinist. <laughs> okay, Arno down. Sandy Dunn down. And Bobby. Riggs is down too. Oh, no, yeah, no, now he's down. Giuliano trying to get by. And they've got Bobby Riggs. They've got him all tied up. Bobby Riggs, and there's Otto trying to do everything possible to get by. She's got Judy Sawinski to cope with now. Otto down again. Bobby Riggs so far in the lead. One lap remaining. One more time. One more time, Bobby. <laughs> okay, Judy Otto, this is the final lap. This is it. Judy Otto of the Warrior Cats being railed. Judy recovers now. Sandy Dunn of the New York Chiefs and Judy Sawinski of the Thunderbirds doing a masterful job. Oh, what an ending. Let's hear it. Bobby Reed hit the deck. Down for a full count. We'll be right back. Thank you, Judy.